Welcome to the hottest event in cold weather racing. The final heat of the Upper Cross Snowmobile Rally, sponsored by Vittorio Vermicelli, the frozen pizza king. Hey, that said I. Vermicelli frozen a pizzas in 39 flavors. Mozzarella, anchovy, green pepper. Thank you, Vittorio. Now here is that champ of champs, Tom Slick in the converted Thunderbolt Grease Slapper. Hi there, fans. Oh, Gertie, I do hope Tom carries the day and bears away the laurels. I just hope he wins. And here, skulking to the finish line, is the well-known punk sport and bad loser, Baron Automatic in his snowmobile, the Frostoblast Digaloo. Boom. Well, Clutcher, how much did you bet on me? Everything you own, Master. If you don't win, it's... It's for both of us, Clatcher. Now get to your dirty work. Yes, master. And uh, there they go, and it's Tom Slick in the lead. Hey, we got a pepperoni, provolone, rigatoni. Tom is approaching Icy Gulch Corner. And now it's Kablooey, Tom Slick. Baron to Clatcher, what spoiled the plan? A sudden snowfall. <laughs> Sorry, Master. Now you must stop Tom Slick at Honeymoon Bridge. Yes, Master. Honeymoon Bridge is a narrow ice bridge over a deep crevasse. When Tom Slick tries to cross here, kablooey! But on the bridge approach, it's the former Royal Mountie, Royal Mountie, and the Spin Globe Ice Picker taking over the lead. Well raced, Roy. Thank you, good sport, Tom Slick. Whoops. Well, that's it for Royal Mountie and Honeymoon Bridge. But what's this? Tom Slick is draining a bucket of water from his radiator. The cold air has frozen that water into a temporary bridge. And there goes clever Tom, followed by Furhood Parker in the Uniski Snow Streaker. Baron Automatic trails badly. It's impossible! A little strip of ice like this could not hold that much weight. You see? With Tom Slick in the lead, the racers approach Funston Tunnel. Here is your golden opportunity, Clatcher. Meanwhile, I am going to cheat and take a shortcut. This time, Master, I cannot fail. When Tom Slick meets that snowball, <laughs> kabooey! But wait, Tom is turning off the course and taking the long way over the mountain. Why? There, on the hillside, a sprig of Edelweiss. The girls would never forgive me if I didn't bring them a souvenir. Isn't it romantic? He's going to bring us back a sprig of Edelweiss. I wish he'd bring us a hot cup of coffee. I'd pour it in my shoes. And as Tom takes the high road, Furhood Parker takes the low road. What in the world is taking so long? Well, it's the end of the race for Plucky Furhood Parker. You can blew it the wrong man, Clatcher. Sorry, Master. Here's that rotten cheater, Baron Automatic, entering the stretch run. But wait, here comes Tom Slick. Hey! Uh-oh, what's that emerging from the rear of the Frostoblast Digaloo? It's, it's a jet flame snow melter. Gertie, that heat is melting the snow in front of Tom. I wish he'd aim some this way. There's nothing for Tom's skis to slide on. That kind of poor sportsmanship just burns me up. Looks like Tom is out of the running. Quick, four frozen pizzas to go. What size? About as big as automobile tires. At a medium. Here you are. Tom, boy, this is no time for noshing. They're not to eat, Gertie. They're to run on. I'll put the anchovy pizzas in the rear. They give more traction. Do you think there's still a chance, Tom? I never worry about defeat, Marigold. I do. You worry about defeat, Gertie? Yes. They're almost frozen. Gertie, you're always good for a timely chuckle. Who's laughing? Both snow buggies are nearing the finish line, and uh, Tom Slick surges ahead. Yay! But this finish line is made of rubber. When Tom Slick hits it, 
kablooey! But the tremendous heat of the tire friction is rapidly thawing out those frozen pizzas, and uh-oh, there they go, just a foot from the finish line, and here comes the Baron. No, no, the uh, late master. <laughs> Well, Clutcher, we are ruined. Oh, I'm sorry I kablooied you, Master. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Give me your hat, please, Clutcher. Yes, Master. Ooh. And Tom Slick pushes the converted Thunderbolt Grease Slapper to victory. Yay! Well, what do you think about vermicelli pizzas now, eh? Not much, sir. Frankly, they don't stand up under abuse. I love them, hon. Hey, ha-ha. <laughs> That's more like it. Yes. They make great foot warmers. <laughs>